Okay, so let's make this a quick one. If you have been around the channel, then you know I've covered the IX Tech Mic 01 in the past, about six months ago. It was the black version. They were supposed to send out the white microphone as well as the white microphone boom arm, but we're getting into it six months later. So again, thank you, IX Tech, for sending it out. I do want to go ahead and reference what I've said before in the past covering IX Tech stuff. There was a person that commented that they had purchased the microphone before. I think it was the black version, if I remember correctly, and it had some quality... Uh, I would say check problems and issues with a lot of cracking and stuff on it the black one has not cracked or showed any problems or issues and the white one came perfectly fine so again i would go ahead and say like i always say with my disclaimers your results may vary your experience may vary but i do want to say thank you ix tech for sending out for another review i've been using the microphone for the past couple of videos or wherever as well as trying to learn the beacon studio that we're going to be using today to check out this microphone so you are probably going to notice a difference between that six month old video i'll have it linked in the description so definitely check it out if you you are interested in maybe picking it up and you're going to be using something different like a wavelink software or some other software that's going to allow you to put vsts and plugins maybe like through obs or something that's going to be a more accurate representation of what you can experience if you're not going to use something unique like the beacon software with the beacon studio i still think that with the beacon studio you're going to want to use more expensive i would say xlr microphones like i've said in the past between 100 to 200 dollars just because they can take more advantage of the noise suppression and the expander and stuff that's within the software because those microphones are going to be built with better components that are going to naturally reject the background noise and that's just something that happens when you get cheap microphones under a hundred dollars like this one and i'll go ahead and put the price on screen so you can check it out and again the old video as well as all the microphone comparisons to this microphone will be linked in the description as an unlisted video so it doesn't take up time in this video and let me know also what you guys think about the b-roll and stuff like that and unboxing or wherever that i did with this video i kind of try to do a little bit different and i do like i said in the previous video like the sound of this microphone i do not put any kind of eq bands or whatever done it's just you know the normal stuff as far as the noise suppression expander the compressor that you would normally run on a different software than the beacon studio i'm still running on here with this microphone but when it comes to the actual waveform i don't touch anything and i think the overall look of the microphone boom arm with the microphone looks good but i still have my uh problems and issues with the microphone coloring like i did with the black one the black one had the burgundy outline like the white microphone does but the white microphone has this black strip and to me when i'm getting in the black bottom so when it comes to me and i get a white i would say product i want it to be all white or just mismatch with the gray and the white i think it looks fine especially with the microphone boom arm and i'll be doing a microphone boom arm coverage in a later video as well as comparing their new audio mixer that they sent out for a review against the fine fine sc3 so definitely subscribe to the channel to see those videos in the future but again with this microphone i think that they missed out on the opportunity of having a really nice looking microphone that's all white if they would have just got rid of the black i would say line at the top as well as the burgundy outline but just like the black version of the microphone this black streak on the white one is the same touch capacitive buttons you have if you use usb and with the usb you can mute the mic you can listen to it in your headphones if you want to mute that or change the volume and and mute the microphone and all that stuff and you can switch between the headphone uh jack as well as the microphone and you can hit the plus and minus on the top again touch capacitive buttons if you're going through usb no rgb on this microphone at all but they did drop a new rgb microphone that hopefully in the future i can take a look at if ix techs want to send it out that would be really awesome with that being said with these budget microphones even from fine fine and other microphones out there that are under a hundred dollars using the usb component you're gonna lose a quality of audio that's just natural that's not this microphone in particular that's any microphone that i have experienced under a hundred dollars so i would always stress to use the xlr port and that's what we'll be taking a look at this microphone using the ix tech i would say audio mixer so again subscribe to the channel for that to see that in the future but again if you need to use USB before you get an XLR interface, you can do that. It does, like the black one, come with an XLR cable and a lengthy USB cable. So 
you are ready to go right then and there. There will be an affiliate link down in the description that helps me out and uh, no, at no cost to you, just a little kickback to the channel, as well as the microphone boom arm and the XLR interface from IX Tech. All three of them will be down there. So definitely check them out if you're interested in picking it up. Now, let's go ahead and go over to the beacon software and as you can see i have the db set to about 45 you can see the wavelength as i'm talking the noise suppression i took a snapshot with the ac running and some noise and the going on in the office we'll turn all this stuff off so you can hear just the ambiency of the room or wherever but this is pretty much what i found to be relatively good i've tried to record this before but i noticed that the noise suppression was a little bit too harsh that's why i prefer a background noise removal because if you turn this stuff up a little bit too high then you start cutting off your voice and that's what you don't want to do but this in my personal opinion is a little bit too sensitive so if i tap the desk while i'm talking you're probably going to hear that and that's not the microphone that's just the problem of not having a background noise removal instead of suppression the compensator or wherever i have it turned up a little bit higher than necessary but the reason why i do that is because when i talk i have mental issues and while i'm recording and stuff my voice will go high and low it allows me to you know have i would say a better consistency with the audio when i am recording it and then i'm editing it and then i'm uploading to youtube and all the audio stuff that's happening or wherever with the degradation of like Know, doing all that stuff and the loss in quality so this just kind of helps combat that especially with a cheaper microphone at least what i have noticed and this is the kind of stuff that i've been doing the whole time i've been doing these types of reviews and using an xlr microphone or whatever that's under a hundred dollars this is typically what i do so again this is a contestant to the microphone being decent and really good and then we have the makeup gain around four and then we have the output gain or wherever about three and before we go ahead and turn all this stuff off so you can hear all the stuff in the raw audio i do want to go ahead and say that cheaper microphones like this when they don't have a shock mount like the fine fine k688 you're not going to want to touch it uh, bump the microphone boom arm doing anything like that because the handling noise on cheaper microphones again it's not just ix tech as anyone you're not going to want to do any of that stuff because they're really built to have the proximity effect in good audio and then all that stuff comes second because like i said before in my disc uh, review disclaimers anything that's man-made is not perfect so you're gonna have some cons but you have to weigh is the pros gonna outweigh the cons and you have to be aware of them and again it's not a knock to the quality of the sound of the microphone it's just the components and how it's built and that's why i prefer shock mounted microphones if they're going to be under $100 and sometimes even between $100 to $200 just because this is going to absorb a little bit more of that sound and not get transferred into the microphone as much. Now they still probably would pick up the vibrations through your microphone boom arm. So again, that's something you're going to have to test and fill around and stuff like that. But a background noise removal is going to help out that a little bit i've noticed and a personal experience using the wave xlr with the wavelength software and running background noise removal it doesn't pick up the handling noise of the microphone boom arm as much as a noise suppression or any other type of removal of noise that's not a background noise removal, if that makes sense. And if you want access to it and you don't have like Elgato Wavelink or something like that, you can use NVIDIA Broadcast or you can use, uh, if you don't have a NVIDIA GPU, you can find a third party, I would say VST or plugin, just look for it or wherever the type of one I'm talking about that will work with OBS and there you go. With all that being said, let's go ahead and turn everything off inside of the actual Beacon software. So you can hear, this is just the raw audio of the microphone. And I'll go ahead and tell you that the de is on 70, the bass enhance is on two, and the exciter, which is gonna bring up this area. So it's gonna be the semblance, the airiness, the, the brightness of my voice or wherever, the clarity of it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down to zero, turn down the bass enhancement to zero, and turn down the de to zero. Now, again, with this microphone, like I've said in the previous video, I like it the way it just sounds. I never really EQ'd this microphone even in the past, touching the bands or anything. I think it sounds perfectly fine without that. This is one of the few budget ones I feel like I have to do that to. When it comes to the fine, fine microphones or any other ones that I have used in the past, I always feel like I have to adjust it a little bit, whether it's taking out the boominess or the warmth of my, or the muddiness of my voice, or it's trying to boost the clarity of it or something like that. I feel like I always have to do that, but with this microphone in particular, I don't feel like I have to do that. And here is the ambiency of the room.
And all right, I'm gonna go ahead and type on the desk or wherever, and then I'm gonna type on a keyboard that I have on the desk um, with kind of creamy keys or wherever, kind of loud, and that's the way it sounds. So again, you're probably gonna want to put some background noise removal instead of noise suppression, and then there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything back on the way it was, and then I'll do the typing test again. All right, I have set everything back up, and now I'm gonna I go ahead and type on this keyboard and you can probably hear it's a little bit of aggressive typing admittedly but that's the way it sounds or wherever with this keyboard and everything and then i'm gonna type on the desk or wherever tap 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 you can probably hear that or uh, whatever and then i'm gonna tap the microphone boom arm so you can hear what it's doing or wherever and tap the actual yoke of the microphone and you can probably hear that packet uh, being picked up and i'm gonna move around the mic so you can hear if it's picking up any of that or wherever. And yeah, that's why I would say potentially, like I've been saying, I think it's better to have a background noise removal because half of that stuff, if not, I would say about 70 to 80% of that probably wouldn't be picked up. And again, that's what you do to the audio, not necessarily the microphone. Because again, you have to look at it, the fact that you're getting a budget microphone, there are gonna be some cons, but overall this microphone whether you get the black one or the white one does have its benefits of sounding really good. And it's a very close contender in my personal opinion to one of my favorite budget microphones, if not my favorite, the fine, fine K688. Now I will go ahead and say they have that RGB new microphone or wherever that's all white that doesn't have this black strip or the, I would say burgundy yoke. That's probably, if it's the same capsule and the same audio quality, that's why I'm interested if Ice Tech can send it out and I can compare it. If that one is the same quality as everything that we have here, then I would urge you to get that one just because yes, it has the RGB, but nine times out of 10 with that stuff, you can turn it off or just not use the RGB like cable wherever through the USB and just use XLR. So that way you get a all white microphone. Cause again, I'm kind of a stickler for that stuff. Some people are not. So it's just boiling down to personal taste. And if you like the sound of it, you like the look of it, Again, all the stuff that's referenced will be down in the description. So definitely check it out. Leave a like on the video if you found it informational or helpful. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you want to talk to me or see something or whatever of mine that maybe I can talk to you live about, you can find it in the description to my live stream, which is kick.com forward slash squidhead Joe. Definitely check it out over there. Come chat with me live. And yeah, again. If you're new to the channel, you already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more tech reviews from me in the future. Thank you so much, IX Tech, for sending this out. Now I gotta go watch my son. Y'all take care. Have a squatastic day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Much love.